Hello friends and welcome to yet another edition of Virtual Happy Hour. I'm sure you're wondering, Yvonne, why are you wearing a hat? And the answer to that question is because today's Virtual Happy Hour episode is dedicated to none other than Ryan Reynolds. And no, it's not because I'm thirsty. Tall, funny, handsome, and rich is not really my type. Uh, but I do have a few things in common with his wife, Blake, including this beautiful hat made by my lovely friend Kelly at the Saucy Milner. Kelly made this exact hat for Blake in the movie, The Simple Favor. Highly recommend Kelly. She is still making hats if you're interested in a little chapeau to get you through the pandemic season. No, but the real reason that this episode is dedicated to Ryan Reynolds is because today is Saturday, April 25th. This was to be the evening to celebrate some of the best and brightest in Canadian performing arts, including Ryan Reynolds. Tonight was initially supposed to be the Governor General's Performing Arts Awards at the National Arts Centre, and I had been invited by Instagram to have what PR people call an event activation at the Instagram official after party at the NAC where I was going to be making a craft cocktail for the event and for after party attendees. So naturally, because Ryan was going to be one of the laureates, I was intending to use his own aviation gin in the craft cocktail I was going to create. So I thought I should put that to good use and also wanted to give my thanks to Ryan and Aviation for donating 30% of all bottles purchased and delivered um, during this pandemic towards the Canadian Professional Bartenders Association or in the US, the US Bartenders Guild. I love making my own drinks here at home, but I am very much looking forward to having someone else make them for me uh, at a bar when we're out of this not so fresh hell. So tonight we are going to be making a white lady and so I am wearing appropriately this white jumpsuit. It's not remotely done up at the back because it has a bunch of finicky buttons and I would have to cut myself out of it if I somehow was a contortionist and managed to actually do up those buttons if I ever wanted to get out of it or go pee. It requires a sober friend um, and I'm the only one here and I don't intend to be sober for very long. So tonight we are going to be making none other than the classic white lady cocktail. This was invented by a guy named Harry Macalone. I don't know if I'm saying that right, probably not. But he was the Harry of Harry's New York bar in Paris. He invented it in 1919, but it subsequently was the subject of much contention amongst the bartender set because a 1934 edition of a bartending magazine indicated that some bartenders had actually come to fisticuffs over whether or not egg white should be included in this drink. And you know I love egg white, so you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm using my last egg. I should be sponsored by the Egg Farmers of Ontario in this cocktail. So I will have to get more eggs in the near future or switch over to the vegan alternative aquafaba or chickpea brine. So this is a very delicious drink involving citrus on citrus with a nice, delightful dollop of gin. So we're doing an ounce and a half of aviation gin. Ryan, I'm sure you are very much looking forward to meeting me, but hopefully we'll have the opportunity in the not so distant future. We're gonna use three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau or triple sec, whatever you have on hand. And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Again, I have these ridiculously sized lemons that barely fit in here. Yes, I am living dangerously, wearing an all white jumpsuit and attempting the dry shake, wet shake that we just did yesterday. So let's hope that I don't end up with egg on my face or in my hair like that one time. Again, Egg Farmers of Ontario, think about it. And then we're gonna do a third of an ounce of simple syrup. And then of course, a very slippery, egg white. I would love to know which bar you're whoo, living dangerously here. You're most looking forward to returning to when we're out of this. Go, 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 go. There we go. Nailed it. Tell me, where do you
do you want to most feel? Where are you excited to get back to? So now we're gonna do a nice dry shake. We're gonna take this shaker in a very firm grasp and hope for the best. It's hard to shake with a hat on, I'm learning. The brim kind of gets in the way of the arm motion. Very nervous about this. As you can see, the back of this is not done up. I wasn't making that up. And I'm getting quite hot in this felt hat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. So now we're gonna take nice and foamy the lid off and we're gonna add our ice cubes to this delicious classic cocktail. If you liked the Earl Grey Sour or the Gin Gimlet, this is going to be something right up your alley. Obviously, no Earl Grey flavors in this, but nice combination of the juniper and the gin. Here we go again. And the citrus from the Cointreau and the lemon juice. There we go. Ryan, I know that you're obsessed with Hugh Jackman and you have a little bromance with him, but have you considered Magneto? You know, if you could facilitate an introduction between myself myself, and Michael Fassbender, wouldn't be upset about that. Not in the least. So now we get the nice foamy texture. Again, the egg white is optional. You don't need to use this. If you're conserving your eggs, you don't like eggs, or you could again, I've already taken my Y peeler around the circumference of this lemon. This is my Y peeler. Sliced it and then I wrapped it around a cocktail pick to get this beautiful twist, which I'm gonna just drop on the edge of this beautiful coupe glass. And cheers to you, Ryan. Hopefully we'll get to celebrate together in the not so distant future. My God, that's good. See you guys on Monday.